a bit of an update. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film everything that I've done, but the head's been taken off. It's been sent to Ben at the machine shop. Um, I have got a red guard, which matches perfectly. It's a bit faded, but it is red and it does match. Now, I've had to massage it a little bit to make it fit because it's off a coupe, and the convertibles are just slightly different, which I didn't actually realize, um, which I've just finished. So I'll show you guys that. I'll show you the progress of where I'm at, um, and we'll go from there. Um, I will try and film a bit more. I've been a bit slack, but I was just raring. Okay, as we can it. see, this was a guard. It was a little bit trash. So I would have reversed into it. Um, these little fixtures here are for the m -Tech kit, which I'm going to need to pull out. I'll, what I'll do is I'll make a template of this section um, and then transfer it over to the other guard, drill the holes out and put the plugs in. Um, I have got the new guard on and it doesn't look too bad. There is a bit of a gap just here, but I think, you know what, I think it's bearable. The section here is actually pushed in Whereas on my coops, they're sort of slightly raised out. So, obviously, as you can see, there's no fixtures here. But uh, we'll soon fix that. And the front definitely looks a hell of a lot better. Now, I've put a set of number plates on them, which I've had for quite a few years. I think she looks definitely a lot better. Uh, definitely presentable now. The sides get back on, but I might just fit it back up and see how it looks. And then um, probably Monday or Tuesday, I'll crack on with um, making those mounting points and putting them in, put it all back together. Once this is done, the outside section, um, I am going to get a detail to come in. I have a friend that um, has his own company who is probably one of the best details I've ever seen. And this thing will be bright and red and luscious. It'll just be beautiful again because it is a bit sad at the moment. Definitely needs to wash, but with a detail, I think it's going to come up absolutely immaculate. Then a roof, and between that time, we get the engine put in here, and it'll be all good. Alrighty, so I've got the panel on. I just have to drill holes for the side skirt, and the rest of it just needs to be bolted up correctly, but um, it's actually not too bad. Next is the glove box. Now, let's see if we can do this while filming. I started it and thought, oh, I should probably film this. So that's the old one. Ugh. This is the new one. Big difference. Just doesn't look as disgusting. So, um, crack on and take it out. Get it done. To do for all we have to do for that is there's two straps inside the glove box that hold it down from falling all the way down, and then there's three eight mil bolts at the bottom. So we'll crack on with that now. That's it. Now, just so have to do the same thing to reinstall it. Now, some of these will have the wiring here. Oh, this is for your factory uh, torch that it comes in. So you plug it in, it charges. Most of the ones that you'll find um, will have dead batteries. So you can do like an LED light upgrade. This one, unfortunately, didn't come with one, but maybe we'll find one. We can do a light upgrade and I can do a video on that as well. Let's pull it out. Now what you'll find when replacing these, generally if you need to go replace a glove box, the latch will actually cost more than the glove box itself. Now these always break and that's why. They can charge you whatever they feel like.
Nice and easy, only took a couple of minutes, maybe like 10. I'm a bit slow sometimes, but I definitely think it looks a hell of a lot better. Crappy old, don't even know what that is. And then we have that. Now, it is actually the same color, I think. And really, that's fine if it's not. So we just need to find these two panels and then we're done, really, interior wise. Take the dash 